Hi, I'm Kat, a gallery assistant at Leeds University Library Galleries. I've been researching the Bloomsbury Group, who were a group of artists, writers and intellectuals who met in Bloomsbury to share their ideas and discuss their work. They began meeting in 1905 at Vanessa Bell and her sister Virginia Woolf's house in London. Writers including Clive Bell and Little Strachey met on Thursdays, while artists including Duncan Grant and Henry Lamb met on Fridays. They acquired the name Bloomsbury Group at the second post-impressionist exhibition, organised by Roger Fry in 1912. This exhibition, featuring work by artists in the group, was instrumental in showcasing European post-impressionism art and led to many young British artists experimenting with abstraction and colour. I'm drawn to this painting by Roger Fry as the soft gestural brushstrokes give the buildings an almost ethereal glow, creating a dreamy atmosphere. I also really enjoy the contrast of warm and cool tones, and particularly the pops of colour, in particular the pops of orange. I find the Bloomsbury Group's beliefs particularly interesting. The group's members were privileged with social advantages from their wealthy backgrounds, but they collectively rebelled against the stifling constraints and conventions enforced by their parents' generation. They were liberal in all aspects of their life, politically, sexually, and in their ideas, which gathered a lot of attention. The group formed close friendships, which often became rather tangled by their belief in free expression of love. Many of the members had open marriages and had affairs with other members of the group. For example, whilst married to Clive Bell, Vanessa Bell had an affair with Roger Fry and later fell in love with Duncan Grant, who had many homosexual relationships. Her and Duncan's daughter later married one of his former lovers, which caused Vanessa great distress. I find it particularly interesting to look at the relationships of the Bloomsbury group, as the current rise in non-monogamy is viewed by many as a very recent phenomenon. Vanessa's life shows this is clearly not the case though non-monogamous relationships have existed for far longer than the Bloomsbury Group.